These are novels that all true constant readers should be familiar with. Welcome to WatchModule.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Stephen King novels. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the best novels from the master of horror, Stephen King. We'll only be including full-length novels, so short story collections and novellas like The Mist and The Body won't be included, despite how awesome they are. Number 10. Pet Cemetery. While Pet Cemetery may not be King's greatest piece of work, it is arguably his darkest and scariest. The story follows the Creed family and the titular Pet Cemetery, a mysterious location that can seemingly bring the dead back to life. I brought you here to bury Ellen's cat. Why, for God's sake? Once a tragedy occurs in the family, Lewis Creed invokes the powers of the cemetery to horrible and tragic results. Come on, stop! Oh, it's a terrific piece of dark and terrifying literature, so much so that King initially didn't want it published, on the grounds of it being too bleak. However, for those who like their stories hopeless and scary, Pet Cemetery is a must read. That's right. Today is Thanksgiving Day for cats. Number 9. The Dead Zone. Many constant readers would argue that 1970s King was peak King, and The Dead Zone is no exception. The book follows a man named Johnny Smith who gains precognition after an accident and waking from a subsequent coma. While the novel was made into a great movie starring Christopher Walken, the book, as is often the way, is better. You've been our guest here for a while. Guest. Funny way of putting it. While the novel isn't as popular as some of his others, it's still a thrill-a-minute, can't-put-it-down escapade that is eerily relevant in today's political climate. For The Dead Zone, King largely foregoes horror and replaces it with suspense and thrills. But the results are just as intoxicating. <laughs> Number 8. The Green Mile The Green Mile is unlike anything Stephen King has written. The serial novel was initially released in six short paperbacks on a monthly basis between March and August 1996, before being published as one whole novel. And this undoubtedly helped build the suspense and tension in what is already an extremely tense and mysterious story. My buddies are back! I'm ready to go! Where are we going? Let's go! No! 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 The Green Mile is exciting, touching, and sad. And it features one of King's greatest creations, John Coffey the seemingly dangerous but innocent inmate who has magical abilities. What do you want, John Coffey? Just to help. It's one of King's most dramatic and literary works, and easily one of his best. Number 7, 112263. 112263 proves that King has still got it after all these years. The book is absolutely gargantuan, but the story is so well told and intriguing that you never notice how long it truly is. Count it. No, it's okay, I trust you. Count it. Make sure it's all there. The basic story follows a man named Jake Epping who travels back in time to try and stop the Kennedy assassination. And while the storyline is absorbing and exciting, the novel also travels down many branching paths that are all equally captivating. Ah! The numerous narratives throughout remain tight and engaging, and the pace rarely falters despite its immense length. This is not only King's best recent effort, but also one of his best, period. How do you know anything's going to happen to Doris? I'm from the future, okay? I know Harry Dunning in the future. Number 6. Misery While the novel is fantastic, many people know the story of Misery from the movie starring Kathy Bates, which is certainly not a bad thing. Her portrayal of Annie Wilkes is simply superb as she successfully and realistically brought one of King's most terrifying characters to vivid life. You'll never realize what a rare treat you've given me. The novel foregoes any sense of the supernatural or mystical, and focuses solely on a nail-biting game of cat and mouse between a resourceful writer and his psychotic fan. No one will even know it exists. As long as it does exist, your mind won't ever be free. 
the novel's realism, its numerous disgusting passages, and the disturbing character of Annie combine to make one of King's most unsettling pieces of fiction. Annie, for God's sake. Shh, darling. Trust me. God's sake. It's for the best. Annie, please! Number 5. Salem's Lot Vampire stories have been around for centuries, but few can rival the sheer power of King's second published novel. The story follows writer Ben Mears as he returns to his hometown of Jerusalem's Lot, Maine, also known as Salem's Lot, only to become embroiled in a dark mystery that looks behind the idyllic white picket fences. I think that building you mentioned might be a metaphor for something bigger in your life. Does it always have to be something bigger? Revealing a world of suspicion, murder, and vampires, it all culminates in a showdown of good versus evil. Salem's Lot is undoubtedly one of King's greatest accomplishments. It was nominated for the Locus Award for All-Time Best Fantasy Novel, and King himself calls it his favorite story. The characters, intimate setting, quickly escalating plot, and chilling imagery all ensure this novel's legacy as a classic piece of horror literature. Sorry to drag you into this. Dumpy. Number 4. It There are a handful of King novels that could be considered his greatest, and It is one of them. It is both two things a horrific story about a mysterious alien entity who terrifies and eats children, and a touching, nostalgic coming-of-age story reminiscent of Steven Spielberg's body of work. Aren't you going to say hello? This combination of genres ensures that it is always interesting despite its daunting length, and the novel's scariest scenes are some of the most unsettling passages in King's entire bibliography. Tasty, tasty, beautiful fear. <laughs> It has always been a beloved story that has shocked millions, and it's an undisputed horror classic. <laughs> Number 3. The Shining The Shining contains numerous excellent individual components that together create one of the best horror novels of modern times. Jack Torrance is one of King's most unforgettable creations. The Overlook Hotel is one of horror's most formidable and ominous presences and its themes of alcoholism and family degradation ensure that the novel has a very thematic heart amidst all the horror. It's a touching story of unbreakable familial bonds, a horrific look into the dangers of alcoholism, and one of the scariest haunted house stories of all time rolled into one. With this novel, only his third, King cemented his reputation as a storyteller of immense talents. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Number 2. The Dark Tower Series It's a shame that Sony's The Dark Tower movie was so bland, because this series needs to reach more people. It's arguably one of King's best and most inventive pieces of work. Before that happens, I would get my revenge. The story follows Roland Deschain and his quartet as they try to reach the enigmatic Dark Tower. However, like a lot of epic fiction, this is only a MacGuffin of sorts to tell a sprawling story of friendship and destiny that's filled with some of King's scariest, most exciting, and most humane passages. His shine is pure. It also connects to most of King's other works in various ways, leading many King aficionados to declare the Dark Tower his masterpiece. I will kill him. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. The Stand When it comes to King masterpieces, two stories are often brought up, The Dark Tower and The Stand, and cases could be made for both. Damn, Stu. You don't think he did that to his face falling out of the car, did you? I doubt it. The Stand is basically two novels in one. The first concerns the progression of a global pandemic and the subsequent collapse of civilization, and the second follows two groups of survivors who become embroiled in a battle of literally biblical proportions. <coughs> the Stand is arguably King's scariest novel due to its basis in real-world fears, and its characters are some of his most memorable and complex. M-O-O-N, that spells memorable. While some may bemoan the ending, the preceding thousand pages or so of the complete and uncut version is King at his finest. D. 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.